Hello, hi, hi everyone. Yes, uh, it's yet another exciting day. I'm headed to the deep sea, although a bit late. But today is also a very important day for me because uh, last year, a time like this, exactly on a day like this, 24th of September, I held my first recital uh, at Safari Kum, Michael Joseph Center. So I'm really, I don't know why I'm, I'm so excited. <laughs> but again, well, I, it, it was, uh, it marked a very important uh, part of my career because now the only way to go is up. Uh, and uh, since then, I have I've held uh, two more recitals. So far, so, so far, I have three within one year. That's why I'm also, I'm also happy because it, it did not end there. Uh, but then, <laughs> Something happened to my voice after all that. Uh, early this year, early this year, beginning actually be, uh, in January, I lost my voice, and it was a very scary time for me because I thought it was, I thought it was um, something temporary. You know, when when you try to sing and then you, you're screeching, you know, you're not able to sing, and then you think, oh, maybe it could be the cold. I'm, uh, oh well, I shouted so much yesterday, so I think that's why I'm not able to sing. But then it persisted, like January, February, and then the worst part was that I could not sing songs in the lower register, which is uh, especially for uh, for normal soprano. We normally, like, for normal soprano, you're able to, you're supposed to be able to sing, to sing uh, songs in the, I mean, in the lower register and also in the upper register, and. Uh, I could not, I could not, but, but you know the funny thing is that the high songs, the high songs, I mean the descants and all that, I was, I was able to sing perfectly. Like in those ones, unajaribu kuimba sauti na kata. And uh, one day it got, it got even worse that we were in practice and I tried to sing na sauti na kata, kutoka kabisa. I can't, it was a Swahili song, very low, low song, I mean, a Swahili song and uh, I tried to sing completely and I was now totally totally scared I, I, I think I, I, I did not maybe I did not share with a lot of people but I will go home and sometimes I even cry <laughs> because I was thinking what what's happening to my voice and I was, I was like God what's happening like what have I done uh, so that's that continued all through uh, January February March April beginning of COVID I was still I was still not able to sing well I was not comfortable when I was singing and uh, it got me thinking like what will have tr what had triggered that you know and uh, of course I decided to, to do some uh, reflection to see to I maybe mean, to maybe to to understand what was happening to me so it turns out <laughs> that I overworked my, myself I overworked my voice because when we were planning for this recital, for the, my first recital, I started singing in, in uh, July, doing the individual rehearsals. Then I sang from July uh, to September, individual rehearsals and sometimes group rehearsals with my with uh, the people I was singing along, singing along with. And also, apart from apart from the recitals, I mean the rehearsals for my recital, I was also. I was also I was also in, in the choir in uh, two choirs actually. So we had uh, of course we had rehearsals every week. So I I would sing from Monday to Friday, Monday to Friday sometimes even on Sunday. And I was not resting. I realized that I would sing and still sing. But when I get home, <laughs> I would still be rehearsing in the house. I'm like, eh, kunaila songs in a perfect choir. <laughs> now, you can imagine the whole day I have been singing so like I did not give my voice enough rest Pia I was not I was not taking care of it because I would be doing cold drinks when I think at home you just take cold water I'm a water at room temperature apparently that does not work well with my voice so doing all that sometimes I don't get enough rest Kulala special enough because I have to wake up early and to do my work and also rehearse peers stress because planning for such an event 
and it was my first it was the first recital and I did not know how it would, it would go I did not even know that people would buy tickets so pia kuna hiyo stress kuna hiyo stress ya eh we need work so you are stressed you're not eating well you're working i mean and you're not resting your voice enough so that, i think that contributed so much to what was going on with my voice at that particular time uh, the other thing i think i'm also affected by shouting and i think it's very important for every singer to know to understand them themselves understand your voice understand your body know what affects you uh, so personally small kidogo shouting sauti yangu tu inakataa i think it's very important for every singer and not only singers but people who use their voices your, your voice is your instrument you know your voice is your office you're a radio presenter uh, you're an MC or whatever to understand your body understand your, your voice because uh, you know when you're young you do you can do everything you know your body can only can take in so much you can actually go out clubbing you can shout as much as you can and tomorrow you still wake up and be able to sing to sing or do or do your stuff but now as you grow older I, i'm not saying i'm very old <laughs> i'm not saying i'm very old eh? hi <laughs> oh, so, oh, so when you when you grow older mwili nende mwili nende pick and just just so i think you need to understand yourself and uh, what i've come to realize is that if i talk a lot like i'm doing now <laughs> i talk a lot am I, i maybe i go to an event where we, we do a lot of screaming i'm not able to, to sing the other day and i can not even can i can actually go for a week that my voice is not yet back so i've also come to understand that then um, well now to my to my story <laughs> my voice is finally back i think in uh, when the when covid started and we could not there were no gigs no events we were not going to, to church we were not going for choir practices and all that uh, i rested i think i rested my voice enough and it was finally back of course yeah so I just want to insist on the importance of vocal health. Uh, this is an instrument and if 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 uh, I don't have if I don't have my voice I mean I cannot evangelize. I cannot entertain people, you know. I cannot sing basically. So it is very important much as I take care of my body to also take care of that to understand what what will af- what will affect me. I to try to avoid those uh, the quote catalysts kitu kama hiyo catalysts zile mtu zina 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 nifanya ni strain ama zina nifanya ni kose kuimba so yeah it was a very scary time for me and uh, well i did not regret because uh, after my recital as i have mentioned i've done two more recitals i had one i had a christmas recital as well but i was in so many things i mean i i i, I was in like three choirs they were all planning planning something for christmas it was a very it was a very intense period but i kept going and going and going and going sometimes just understand when to stop understand when to stop i mean i want to sing in it so so it's also it's not an offense to say you know ah uh, you sit away sometimes just to say ah uh, yo i cannot manage be, be willing to disappoint people be selfish and it be dependent yes. that's what I want to say but yeah it's a, it's an important day and for me and um, I'm, I'm hoping I'm, I'm looking forward to more recitals to more concerts bigger and better do them differently if all goes well I, this one we we may plan one for christmas of course a bit different from what we do but stay tuned for more details we get it we we did come last week could it make a hook but I, i didn't manage to come so we we'll want to see the extent of the dam the damage as well and understand that some of my students here were so let let's see let's see. We, we will show you we will show you guys stay with us Louise is here with us Louise tell me how to my god my god